You were on the, the Jamie Foxx show, and you talked about how Richard, oh, yeah. Richard was so high off of coke yeah, all the time. High. He was high. He was too high to work. You know, a lot of them are like that shit. They all, a lot of them are getting high off of uh, coke. Well, Richard was too high. He, would be, he couldn't deliver the line. He'd be slurring his words and stuff. I mean, Richard talked about getting high in yeah. his comedy act. Oh, yeah, he let everybody know he was getting high. He, right. He would be on Johnny Carson saying that. Well, you said that Johnny Car Carson was oh. doing coke all the time, all too. All of them had coke. <laughs> Johnny Carson, he had a hole put in his nose, had a hole in his nose. So that's that coke problem, see? Right. You said Red Fox was, was heavy on it also? Red Fox, all of them back then had uh, People that you didn't know that had them was tooting that coke, trying to get some energy, you know? Well, did you... uh? Did you ever read that interview with Quincy Jones, where he talked about how Richard Pryor was having had had sex with uh, Marlon Brando? I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know you could read it. Where, where was it at? It's, it's an interview. It I was told. an interview. Yeah, it was a written interview. Uh, Richard used to have a party at his house every Sunday. I ain't seen no Marlon Brando nowhere near that party. So I think that's all. I don't. I like. I, you know, I, all I was a fucking doorman. I don't know what the hell they were doing. I was happy to have that the little money she paid me to pay my rent. Right. When I first got to uh, L.A. So I ain't seen, I ain't seen no, I ain't never met Marlon Brando. <laughs> I met Nico Brando, that was his son. Okay. When I was at Gucci, he would come in and say hello uh, because I was like everybody's therapist <laughs> in Gucci. So I would see them all, Sammy, everybody, everybody coming, Sammy and David, Jonathan Winters, all them cats were coming to Gucci. Boy, that was the funniest job I ever had in my life. <laughs> they, they were wonderful people treat me they let me do anything they they get the women come and say well, is with the spoon here <laughs> old women so i would take them around and treat them give them a glass of wine and and i would meet all the women that come in there old women you know that want somebody to say that they look good that day you know so that was my job at gucci but uh as far as um marlon brando and all this i, I don't know that all i know is that he i never seen marlon brando at that party he had about 100 people there okay well, uh, Richard Pryor's widow said it was true. Said that Richard would get who, who high was, enough. Oh, J Jennifer? Uh, the, the, the white woman, I think. Jennifer? Yeah. I don't know. Well, she, he, she wouldn't know. I mean, she said that Richard would get so high off of coke that he would have sex with anything, pretty much. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> he said he would have sex with a radiator and buy, it, uh, oh, buy it a drink the next day. Like, <laughs> Well, you know, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't there. There you go. But I know that Richard was a funny man, and, 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 and he... Uh, he didn't mind me opening for him on the, but he didn't want me to open for him on the road. No? No. He said, Spoon, I love you, but you're too funny to open for me. <laughs> he was scared. I'll get standing ovation. <laughs> I bet. I get standing ovation also. So I, I but but that was good enough to, I worked him, then we worked one week before he go on the road, he would work one week in the main room before he would, he would go, we would go to, Sunset Boulevard is a it's a theater over there. That's where he shot. His at the at the Pantages might have been the Pantages. I don't know what where I was at, but um, he would go to the main room and do a week or two there, and that's where he and I we had great crowds in. We had but you had great crowds. When any time Richard Pryor coming to the comedy store, the, the block the, the people wrapped, wrapped around the block. Yeah, I bet. To see him. Probably just like a, a, a Chappelle. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, I feel you. Um, um, were you still friends with him when he lit himself on fire, I guess? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I called him at the hospital. He don't remember. Yeah. But Mooney was on the phone, and Mooney said, Spoon, and, and he, uh, I said, let me talk to Richard. Richard don't remember that stuff. He was so out of it. <laughs> but, you know, that's... Uh, I never did no. St I mean, I ain't had no money to do nothing like that anyway. Right. I never had no pipe money. I was struggling to make, yeah. to make it as an actor. Thank God, because I'd, I'd be horrible if I had blown myself up. <laughs>